put the right venting in for your laser? I thought I had too, but it turns out I was wrong. Let's talk about venting for your laser, today on LaserNug. Welcome back to the channel. You'll remember when I got my very first laser, which is this Thunder Laser Bolt, I'd put in temporary venting. It was a window vent right behind me. Kind of a simple standard vent, kind of like your dryer vent, right? Hose connected to the other side, had a little bug screen in there, and you just connect your laser to it and it exhausts your debris outside. I put that in there because I wasn't sure if the laser was gonna sit here permanently or if this was just a temporary spot. And I didn't wanna go through the cost or the effort in trying to put in permanent venting. But now I know for sure it's gonna stay, but it was missing one super important component. It was time to up my game a little bit. I'll walk you through the new installation. Your contractor or your HVAC technician is gonna take a big coring drill and he's gonna blow it through the outside of your house. And in my case, it's brick. And then we also have mason block behind it. He's gonna put the appropriate size hole for the appropriate size vent. This is my four inch. This is my six inch. And it's an assembly that comes with your outside hood. Sometimes it's a metal hood that's shaped down and it has a damper underneath, or it has these fins, so to speak, underneath. Sometimes they're open or exposed as these ones are. Once he does that, he's gonna slide that plenum assembly in. He's gonna make sure he drills holes so he can attach it to the brick. And if he does a good job, he should silicone around the outside of it. After he's fixed it in place, he's gonna take spray foam and he's gonna fill in all the crevices. After it dries, you just simply take a utility knife and then you can just flush it to the brick or to the mason. And you'd think you're done, but there was one thing missing from my other assembly. Looks like my exhaust vent is closed or blocked off. It is kind of. This is called a damper or a butterfly damper in this case. And what it does is it opens when your laser exhausts and all your debris goes outside when the laser is shut off, the butterfly will close if you have any air pressure from the outside trying to get back through this pipe into your laser. This is the key part I was missing. For the last year and a half that I've owned this laser, I didn't realize I had cold or hot air from the outside constantly coming back through the vent and into the back of the laser. Maybe not so bad in the summer with our types of temperatures here, but when you've got negative 10, negative 15 degree temperatures outside, that cold air is constantly coming back through your vent, up through your exhaust and into the back of your laser. These vents are not hermetically sealed or anything. They're just flaps. So any type of breeze, it doesn't even have to be a windy day, any kind of breeze at all will find its way through all of the leaks and the crevices, as well as the fact that you'll hear from time to time, you'll hear these flaps opening and closing because of the wind. It's pushing it up and it's entering through your exhaust pipe. But it may help to explain why I've spoken to so many of you good folks over the last 10, 10 months or so on the channel. And every once in a while, people are telling me that they've cracked a glass tube. I don't have a glass tube CO2, mine's an RF. But I've spoken to one person particularly who's gone through three glass tubes. I'm not saying it's the total reason why, but it might be a big factor if you're working through the winter time and you've got cold air constantly coming back into your laser overnight and throughout the day. Basically, anytime the laser is not exhausting, it's accepting air the other way, unless you have a damper. Your owner's manual will have a tech spec section and there'll be a number of different things in there, including the operating temperature range of that laser. And it would seem to me, although maybe not in total, but at least in part, if you're working through the winter time and you have constant negative temperatures or freezing cold temperatures coming back through your exhaust and into the back of your laser, that would suggest to me that you're freezing or you're cooling a lot of components in that laser, which may either be contributing to why you're cracking glass tubes, or just as importantly, it's impacting the operating efficiency or the performance of that laser because it's not up to temp. 
Will this butterfly damper impair or affect the ability of your laser to exhaust efficiently outside? It won't. It just simply stops the backdraft. The reason this butterfly damper is closing so fast is because I can feel the breeze on my fingers right now as we speak. Is it going to impair the flow? Shouldn't at all. Let me show you. I'm just going to open and I'm going to close my garage door, which is going to cause a change in air pressure between outside and inside. And if my vents are working properly and freely, you should see that six inch vent, all the flaps will open up right away. Let's take a look. A few other things about venting. You want to try to locate your vents as close as possible to the laser itself. The shorter that distance, the better your exhaust fan is going to perform because it's not going to have to push the debris further than it needs to. Closer to the unit, higher pressure, long run to the outside, less pressure. And you also want to minimize the number of 90 degree turns in that pipe. Every time it takes a 90, you reduce efficiency on the exhaust fan. If you've purchased a unit that has one of those bug nets or netting inside of it, you want to make sure you take a toothbrush to that every couple of weeks because your debris will build up very quickly in those tiny little mesh holes and start to block or impede the exhaust flow to the outside. And if you've already had your external exhaust vents installed, but the installer did not put any type of a damper in there to stop backflow or backdraft, you can pick up an adapter with a butterfly damper at any big box store or local hardware store, any store that sells any type of HVAC or vending supplies, it'll come with a male and a female end and you could just easily insert it into your exhaust pipe, tape it with either duct tape or some of that aluminum tape, and then you can connect your laser to it. Just make sure that you have the butterflies facing outdoors. The two that I have here, they have a little diagram on the side just to make sure you have the airflow correct because you don't want it blocking the exhaust going out. <laughs> And one big factor that is going to affect or impede the ability of this exhaust fan to clear your debris and your fumes outside, you have to clean this fan. I'll be honest, I got lazy. You know, for the first five, six, seven, eight months, you know, I was pretty diligent. I mean, I clean my mirrors and my lenses every day or every second day at the most, depending on how much I'm lasering. But this fan will slowly accumulate debris and it'll start to build up on the fan blades and that will absolutely have a negative effect on the ability of this fan to exhaust your gases or your fumes and your debris outside. It's pretty simple to do, except when you get lazy like me. Just two Phillips screws, take these rings off, pull the fan out and you'll see the fan blades inside as well as the exhaust side and you just need to grab some cleanser and, a, and an old rag and clean out all that debris that is slowly thickening on every one of those fins. It's a must do, gotta add it to your maintenance list. And the last little tip I'll provide to you that I learned the hard way, if you're running more than one laser off of one exhaust vent to the outside, that means you have some kind of a splitter or some kind of a connector pipe that it connects both exhausts into one. You for sure need a damper or something on either side of that pipe, one from each laser, to make sure that if you're only running one laser, the exhaust is not traveling from one exhaust pipe and instead of going outside, it's turning and going back towards the other laser. It's true. The exhaust flow will always take the path of least resistance. And that's usually towards the other laser, not outdoors. So that's a wrap for another video. I hope it was helpful to you, especially if you've just ordered the laser and you're looking to have an exhaust fan installed. If you're here in Ontario, I'll leave you a website link in the description of this video to the company that I used here. I believe they serve the GTA as well as the Horseshoe area in Ontario. And they did a really good quality installation and at a reasonable price. Have a wonderful week and hey, have fun with your lasers. I'm Gord Potter and you've been watching LaserNug. Cheers.